Welcome back to the security series of AKS. And I just want to apologize first because I have, uh, I do not have the credit on my Azure portal right now, but it will be renewed in seven days. So I would not be able to use it for the lab purpose, but it does not mean we should stop studying, we should stop learning. So I am going to talk about all the components that plays a part in, in, in microservices or in any application that you're hosting in AKS. And accordingly, we need to think for the security. In the very first video, we talked about the basic concept, how to, how to think for the security, like defense in depth and other steps. In this video, we are going to uh, uh, decipher the architecture of uh, AKS uh advanced architecture of aks for the microservices or we'll see what all components are involved when we run our application or microservices on aks now once we uh, demystify or once we uh, unlock all those components then we need to make sure all these components are secure at the very best right so let me quickly share my screen and try to draw the architecture on the uh, through the diagram so that we can uh, we can make a connection we can actually visualize and try to see what all components are involved and what all components we need to think before uh, we apply the security or we uh, for the security approach right so let me quickly share my screen and where is the mouse? Now I hope you can see my screen here. And let me quickly draw the architecture and then we'll uh, decipher the architecture uh, as per the components. And we'll talk about uh, all those, all the components that we need to secure. So let's see. For any uh, AKS or any uh, application, when we run on AKS cluster, the very first thing we need, we need is the virtual network, okay? That means we already have a subscription and tenant. We created the virtual network and we created the AKS subnet. Let's assume we are doing the Azure CNI, okay? So we have, uh, this is our VNet, okay? Now inside the VNet, we create our uh, cluster. And let's suppose this is our AKS cluster. Now inside the cluster, we have our nodes, <clears throat> right? Let's suppose these are our nodes, okay? This is, these are our, these are two nodes. And in the, inside the nodes, we have our pods running. And we have already covered how these pods run, uh, all these things like scheduler and <clears throat> other stuff. So right now, this is all security focused. If you wanna, if you are interested in the basic functionality and how this works, you can check the other videos or the entire playlist. So these are two, uh, these are like a number of pods running. For the example, we took uh, these two pods running on these two different nodes. Okay, it could be manually scalable, it could be auto scalable, that's a different story. But here we are all focused on security. So this is a very basic structure of a Kubernetes, which is running inside the virtual network. Right now we would have the other uh, components of the uh, AKS, uh, for example, deployments and, and, and services, those things that will come later. But for now we need to take care of these components and secure them one by one as per the defense in depth concepts, okay? Now, here our application running on, on these parts, so we need to think the security in two ways, okay? The very first thing 
we need to uh, we need to uh, secure AKS components, AKS components, and we also need to secure application running on AKS. Right. So there are there are two things. There are two broad ways we need to secure our application running on the AKS. So we need to uh, secure the AKS components or all the components which are involved to make the application up and running the way we want on the AKS cluster. So on the pod, it's the application running, but to run it on the pods, AKS needs the container images, right? So there is one more component involved in AKS security. Uh, it is ACR. You can put it here like, uh, let, let me put it here so that we can uh, work on it later. ACR, this is our container registry. And this is what is, uh, we use, this is what is recommended when we work on the AKS cluster, but it doesn't mean you cannot use the another one. You can use the Docker as well, but that's a public repository. You can also use the Docker private. That's a different story. The, the point is a repository is involved and we need to also think of securing this repository. And what is there in the repository? There are images. We need to also think of securing those images, right? So let me, make one more here images okay so i think for now we have we have created we have we have all those components which that we need to take care of but as i said aks components and applications so let's talk about the aks component uh what all we need to secure okay all right, so let me take one of these and put it here. And I want it, I want the, let me do this. Okay, no, okay, that's fine. All right, so the very first thing as you can see here, where everything is running, where everything is running, it's running in the virtual network. So secure, okay, all right. I need to move this and I need to insert this. So what we need to secure first, virtual network, secure network security. Let's put it this way or secure network, okay? We are talking about the virtual network as of now, but this is not it. It will go a little further. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that as well, okay? Then we have what? We have this AKS cluster, so secure cluster, right? Then we have what? We have parts, so secure, pods right oh before pod we have nodes so secure nodes then we have pod then secure pods right <clears throat> now inside pods what is running images are running so secure images from where the images are coming images are coming from acr or container repository so secure repository repository right now these pod can talk to each other so we need to secure traffic network traffic between the pods right nice cool so these all things we need to secure as aks components or what all is needed as an Azure resource to run an AKS, including virtual network, okay? Now, let's talk about uh, application side, right? 
Okay, so to talk about uh, application side, if you need to see, let's suppose <clears throat> there is application running on the pod or these pods are running uh, there is service running at the top and at the back end these pods are running okay that's how the traffic is flowing the point is this application needs to be publicly accessible right so app needs to access publicly you need to secure the public access right now this application needs to be configured by someone some admins so admins security like who is working on it whether he has the proper rights and not those kind of stuff who, who is running the yaml file who has the access to the cube config file right now this aks cluster or this application will also need uh, some kind of secrets right so need to put the secrets securely. This application also need storage to run. So need to secure that storage. This application also need a database at the back end. let's suppose. Then uh, DB, secure DB. Though it's not a part of AKS, it, it is it usually outside the AKS cluster, but it's a part of application on where, which is what we are trying to secure actually not only the AKS cluster, but application running on the AKS cluster. So you gotta secure the database as well, right? So these are different things that we need to think about when we, when we talk about the AKS security, right? Security of AKS cluster, AKS components, and the things which are in use for the application. And we are going to talk about each and every component, how to make it secure, what are the different options that Azure provide us, or what are the different options that we can utilize, maybe it's third party. We need to see all that. And we, we need to cover each of these components one by one. And I'm so sorry I couldn't uh, create the lab right now, but we will create all the labs after seven days. After seven days, my, uh, my portal would be active again. So till then, uh, take care and bye-bye. This is the base which is needed to actually hit the security for the AKS. That's why this, this particular video uh, I was planning where we could actually talk about various things which are involved that we need to think before secure. AKS cluster and the applications running on it. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.